Being a firefighter for me has been a lifelong dream. I saw a local fire crew come to my school when I was in primary school and I think it's probably ever since then that I've wanted to, to be a firefighter. And as I grew up, I applied a couple of times and eventually got in and yeah, I'm living my dream job. So firefighters um, have quite a holistic job, I like to think. Traffic accidents for us is one of the main parts of our job. It could be something, a uh, head-on collision or a car v tree where uh, as a firefighter you get in there and uh, use our tools to cut open the car and help the paramedics generally to get the casualties out and either they get airlifted to hospital or taken in an ambulance. What people don't realise is what it might sound like as well. Like our tools are really loud and if there's people who are conscious in the car, they might be in a lot of pain, so they're screaming or they're crying, and if someone next to them is their loved one, the sounds are something that you can't really um, prepare for. It's a little bit crazy. Seeing any sort of traumatic event for anyone can mentally take its toll. Well, last week I went to a, a pretty traumatic car accident. Um, I had to come straight to training after that, so um, I was late because the job ran over time. I had to stay back at work clean myself up and then hop in the car and come straight to training and it was really really challenging to be able to park what I'd just done an hour or so ago and what I'd just seen and then sort of switch into this fun happy go get them captain mode. It's made me realise how important it is to then deal with what had happened at work after training and use the resources available for me. I think it's been such a massive wake up call to me just how important road safety is and um, the little things that distract you, which a massive one is your phone and, and the music or the car next to you or your friends in the car. It's so vital that, that you pay attention and, and you are safe on the roads and it needs to be like a pack that we all um, get together and just say, look, let's none of us do anything wrong so you're not endangering the lives around you because if you are someone who's going to pick up the phone or you're going to turn to your mates and have a conversation or get distracted or, or drink drive or s silly things like that, it's, um, it's not just your life that you're putting in danger, it could be someone completely innocent that's in the car down the road.